What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to another lit episode of Laquatius. They call me Nelly. Yeah, and your girl Moody. And happy Friday, TGIF. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Give me what a you drink. doing on the weekend? What you doing on the weekend? I don't know. This 4th of July weekend. I don't know. I'm trying to see. This is 4th of July weekend? Yes. Yeah, I got a three-day weekend. I ain't got no work on Monday. Yeah. But, um, I don't I'm know. Off. This is my weekend off, so I'm with All right, So you put some food on the grill, we let them. There you I go. don't even got no yard like you. Right, so bring it over. Bring the food to my yard. <laughs> <laughs> got you. Everybody is a barbecue at Moody Crib. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yo, so we going to jump into today's girl chat. So we're asking... Can you have it all in a relationship? Can you have the time, the affection, the money, the the works? Can you get it all? Could you get it all, Melo? Can you get it all? Ah. Can you have it all? You can have it all, but not all at the same time, I think. (laughs) For real. I really (laughs) believe that you can have it all, but just never at the same time. You mean yeah, like I'm, with different people or the same person? Nah, just like even if the same person. <laughs> <laughs> even if with the same person, because like you want the time and stuff like that. All right, your man can give you time or whatever, whatever, but then he ain't making no money. Unless you got a person that can stay home and they make money, you know. From the bed. From the bedside. Because they, they work for Pornhub. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. But if you, you getting this money and you working, nobody ain't got time to be giving you all the attention and affection. Because even, even if he's sending you gifts and occasionally taking you on dates, you still feel lonely because you want him there I or got her there. So lonely. <laughs> and, oh. <Not> good. <laughs> I just think that you can't have it all at one time. And maybe down the line, maybe things might change. I don't know. But these day and age, nah, I don't see it. Not at one time, but you can have it all. What you think? I just think that I don't, I have yet to met like an over-affectionate, sensitive man. Those are like mad rare commodities. And then like, as, like you said, if you got time, you ain't got money. And if you got money, you ain't got time. So you got to pick your poison. So he's like, I, I don't, I, I take a gift, yeah, here and there, but I do what I would want to have both. You can get it all, and it just has to be from five different entities. Uh-huh. <laughs> one person for love, one person for affection, one person for time, one person for, like, it's just, you can't, I don't think that is the world is even equipped with men like that, that can just sit home, make money from the bed pay you mad attention, love you up so much and buy you. Yeah, it's, it's very rare. I'm sure that there's men out there. I haven't met one yet. What country they live in? This is my point. I haven't <laughs> met them yet. But, yeah. and, and then you know what? We say that we would want all that stuff though, Moo, but I, I don't even think that if we got all that, we would even want that. Like, yo, get out my face outside. Because sometimes you be not want to be bothered. It's true. So, it's true. You be wanting it all. And us women, too. The men be wanting us to do all of that. This, that, and the third. Be up on it. And then as soon as you pay them a little bit of attention, they be like, oh, you mad annoying. Oh, right. Like, that they part. Playing the video game. And, that like, part. and that's why I be move. like, and, and now I'm going outside. Yeah. I'll be back in Yana. So it's all both as I, I don't know. You just yeah. can't it's have a double, it all. It, yeah, it's like you can't have it all at the same time. You got to take one month for this, <laughs> one month for that. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. But it ain't nothing wrong with it, though. As long as you keep trying to satisfy your mate, no matter what it is. Yeah, because I think that at the end of the day, ultimately, you can kind of like find some type of balance. Like, you know you your man work a lot because he's trying to provide a certain lifestyle for y'all. So you have to understand He's not right. going to be here all day. When you do get your time, he's going to make sure that that time be lit. Hopefully. Hopefully, prayerfully. Right. But 
you gotta you gotta just understand your partner and respect how they moving and then go from there. That's how I look at it. And and mates, you gotta remember like you have a partner, so they're here for you too. So utilize, so utilize well. word facts. Yeah, you don't have to always carry everything on your shoulders or um, think that you only have to give too. You could receive, and sometimes you gotta take a time for yourself to receive. Uh, I agree totally, one hundred percent. Yeah, Listen, I say, in order to receive, you must give, cause you gonna have to give me first, and then I'm gonna give it back. But you gotta give it to me first. <laughs> You're a mess. No, I'm just You're joking. Mess. I'm just, I'm just kidding. It goes no, both she ain't, y'all. Yeah. No, she ain't. Yeah, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, Melo, we talking um disciplining our kids. Let me can I can I can I, can I get the mic? You got it. All right, I ain't do no stats world because this is the most I can relate to discussion that we've ever had. So let's go back in time, 1986 when the Queen was born. That be me. Ow, my Amy. mama. <laughs> my mama, when I was a kid, used to whip tail, and y'all all know what I'm talking about. And I'm not, I'm talking about straight child abuse. We've all been there. If you're going in the 80s, you got your ass whipped. So don't That's even bad. get on it. Don't even get under the comments. So much 80s better. and down, they got their ass whooped. 80s and down. And even like 90s. I ain't even going to, yeah, like even in the 90s too. But these 2000 kids? No. Yo. Okay, so let me go back to what I, my point. So I used to get my behind with. Now I have my own child. And I will admit that I don't physically hit her, but I do discipline her. I yell at her. That's a part of Chanel's discipline. Um, I take things away from her. Um, I make her do chores or make her do things that she don't want to do, like walk the dog, which she completely hates, but I make her do it anyway. Um... And I find that even my mom is more lenient with her than she could have ever been with me. And I just, I I don't get why we're so hesitant to discipline our kids because we're failing them by not disciplining disciplining them the way they're supposed to be disciplined. They're not our equals. A lot of us moms that's like, today moms think that our kids is like, nah, these kids are not our equal. And if we don't put our foot down, they will run all over us. I find oh, that I, I find that disciplining kids, and not to say that if you ever step out of line, I'm not going to smack you in your face or punch you in your stomach, a body shot. <laughs> it can happen. It just, if you haven't done anything for me to beat you. Right, and you know, right. I watch the news and stuff, and I see like a lot of parents you know, beat their kids to oblivion to even death. See, that's, yeah, I'm not that extreme because I don't even feel like kids do enough to even get a beaten beaten. Like a quick, quick, swift slap where they don't know where you came from, they be popping up like, yeah, that, that don't work. Like they hit, they underwater somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like they <laughs> drafting, right. So, you know, and that, and that, yeah. in that sense, I don't know. What's up, Moody? So just you have to discipline your kids, period. You have to gain order. Kids don't know no better. So you have to give them structure. If you don't give your kids structure, they're not going to be perfect. Nobody ever comes out perfect. So you have to get structure. My, I was raised by my grandparents, and they ain't play. And it was so to the point that they were sending us away, and the, my aunts and uncles and cousins, they didn't play either. <laughs> they will whoop your ass too. So they sent the email switches, to switches, but there also was discipline. We were breaking freaking yards, d- cleaning, doing all types of stuff that we wasn't doing in the city. You know, I was the last of the Mohegans on my grandparents' side. So I got away with a lot of stuff, but I definitely got my ass slapped a couple of times. And <laughs> <laughs> I, I did one too many things they told me not to and you know what it grounded me for who i am today i ain't got no records and you ain't see me out here a while and now i ain't doing the craziness you know and i'm grateful it 
grateful for that discipline because had I not gone through what I got, went through as a child, I'd probably be all types of ways, doing all types of things. But these day and age kids, it's just, I, I don't, I'm, I, I'm afraid for their future. Talk about it. They don't have no discipline. That means they don't have no structure. And anything goes when it comes to them because they don't care about nothing and they don't, they're not afraid of anything. We had, at least we was afraid like, damn, I can't do this because my mom's going to whoop my ass or my dad going to pop me upside my head. Especially the guys, yo, my grandfather did not play. That nigga was whooping your ass upside down, left to right. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't matter, yo. And I know that. Get that first work. hand. I know that first hand. No, that's a fact. And these kids don't care. They're telling you when they coming in the house. They telling you what they want you to buy. And if you don't buy it, they giving you hell. They, they going to school, acting out. They not giving you no good grades because there's no, no type of order is no type of command like they don't you don't demand nothing because it's an embarrassment no i feel like it's an embarrassment um i always say moody that i'm raising my child to be in to be joe citizen basically i want her to go into the world and be an example of me so when i when you go out there and you're a teen, she's a she's a teen, early teen. I want them to be like, yo, who's her mom? Because she's so well put together. She's respectful. She um she has manners. Um, she she is um, you know, she's just an all-around good kid. Because for me at my age, when I see kids that are like so well behaved, it it it, it I be in awe. I'm like, who, I, and I want to know that same thing. Who's this kid's mom? Because obviously you're doing something right at home and it, and it probably, and it has a lot to do with discipline. You're Absolutely. doing something right at home that makes this child now go out into the world and exude just a disciplined, respectable kid. I have a question, movie. Wait, wait, before you question. Oh, go ahead. So with, I wanted to chime in on what you were saying. And okay. it's true. And it shows what you do at home shows at school. Let me tell you, I went to my son's school and I don't go there often, right? Dad normally picks them up or whatever. And the teacher ran up to me, Miss Allen, Miss Allen, Miss Allen, what's up? I'm like, what's up? What's going on? They was like, do your son have a bad day ever? And I had to think about it. And I was like, what do you mean? And like, like, do he ever have a bad day? And I'm like, no, nah, not really. Why, why do you say that? It's like your child is the most polite, most happiest kid in the world. And it's so funny because my daughter was just, is just the same. And not that I don't pl- discipline them. They are the age where when I say what I say, they know what I mean. So I don't have to put my hands on them. Like my baby be like, I don't want time out. So he's going to do what I say. <laughs> My daughter doesn't want to play with her iPad. So she's going to do what I say. And it starts with the little stuff, like fourth, fifth grade, kindergarten. Yeah, you start them now. Because later on, they, they only get worse. worse. They only get worse. They only and get I, worse. I, I felt good. It feels good as a parent knowing that you're doing a good job. And you that's exactly to... what I'm saying to you. Somebody came up to you to ask you about your child, which means your child not just learning this. Your child learning this from home. Mm-hmm. He's being taught these things. He's being disciplined when he's not when he's misbehaving. Absolutely. He's being praised when he's well behaved. Like the question that I was going to ask was on a flip coin when. When you are, what about dad? How does dad discipline compared to you? My house, I feel like I am the more the, 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 the more militant one. The more militant one. But the kids so used to daddy playing with him, with them, that when he's serious, it's like a shock to them. Like, they feelings get so hurt even more because they're not they're not used to daddy being serious. 
Right. Me is just, oh, all right, let me run mommy coming. Like, let me not do this because mommy coming. But them, they'll run around, punch him in the stomach, then throw a, a, <laughs> a shoe at him and <laughs> think it's cool. And hey. you'll be like, what? Me? Don't you ever hit your mother like that? You crazy? Right, right. they see, if they see daddy say, yo, you know, dad going well, you wasn't throwing that hammer at me. They're going to be like, oh, okay, dad, it's no problem. So, like, with that, but he don't play. When he say he's going to get that ass, he's going to get you. He's going to get you. And no, we don't put our hands on him, but they know what we mean. Like, yo, everything going. Y'all going to be looking at these walls and reading these books. Yep, the walls going to start talking to you. They, that's yeah. not crazy. They you going to be so crazy by the time I take you out this room, you going to be thinking that you hearing voices. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They they fix up real quick when you know when they know they about to get on punishment. Yeah. Oh, you and now all of a sudden everybody's right. So I, I have another I have another question. What about if you weren't married mm-hmm. and you had a, a spouse, a new spouse? Are they able to discipline your child? <laughs> nah. Um. <laughs> Um, if I was in a long committed relationship or whatever, I'm talking about a husband, another oh, husband, another husband, and yeah. and I, and with my kids that I got with my now husband. Yeah, like if this is just how you will be able to tell them right from wrong. Yes, you could be able to tell them right from wrong. Like I'm never going to allow no kid to disrespect an adult. Period. So if you doing something and they telling you to oh, sit down or don't do that, don't jump in the chair and you still continue to do it, and they decide to take something away, then that's that's what you're going to do. No way, shape, or form am I allowing somebody to physically hit my child, period. So oh. let's, let's, let's make that clear. Oh, but so seeing that you I don't... new husband, and you're around, you're around them, you've been there, you didn't, yeah, you're going to be able to say, all right, but we're going to talk about it, too. We're going to talk about it. I don't feel like, you know... You you could you could say what you want at the end of the day because that's how you feel, but as long as I feel no militia and I would not be with somebody that is militia, not that militia, <laughs> Mal- <laughs> yeah, malicious. malicious, and I will hope that you will have my child's best interest at heart. Well, I well assuming that you did you you once did get together with someone else, I'm sure you would find those things out prior to even wanting right. to get married them and things right. of that nature. How I look at it, because I am that person that's not in a, not with the father of my child. My partner, whether whoever it may be, if we're in a long-term living in the same house situation, you are absolutely able to discipline my kid. I don't beat my kid, so nobody else is going to beat my kid. That's first right. and foremost. Second, right. you're absolutely able to tell them to stop, tell them to quiet down, tell them to clean up their room, tell them to take out the trash. If they disrespect you or anybody else around you while I'm not present, to put them on punishment, um, including taking away their phone, take turning off the TV, making them go to their room. All of yeah. those things are okay with me. I have never been the parent who's like, oh no, because my kid is just an angel and no, nobody can talk to them. No, because when you uh, when you instill that in kids, you don't have to listen to anybody. Um, you, this person's not your mom or this person's not your dad. The kid now has that in their head like, oh, I don't got to listen to nothing. I don't got to respect them, yeah. And now they don't respect me. And now as they get older, they're not going to respect no adults because they're going to feel like, my mom said, this person is not my mom. This person is not my dad. I don't have to listen. So I'm totally for my partner disciplining my child. And, I, and I, I'm and i only going to solidify that anybody that I engage myself with is going to have my child's best interest at heart. Because I have an example. You are with someone and you guys have different parents. The kids have different parents, right? And you tell them, oh, I don't want you to discipline my child. I don't want your girl, I don't want your man saying anything to my kid, right? That's okay. All right, cool. On one hand, I feel like you shouldn't send your kid Mm -hmm. if you feel that way. 
And on the other hand, I feel like, so let's just say your kid is about to step into the street and there's a Mack truck coming, but you don't want me to talk to your kid. Should I let your kid get hit by the Mack truck or should I, should I say, oh, hey, such and such, watch out. Because you don't want me to talk to your kid. What, what do you do, Moody? What do you do? You have to do the humane thing. Oh, <laughs> Save okay. the kid's I was life. just saying get hit by the Mack truck since you don't want me to. <laughs> no, no, but I, I'm like, kidding. I hope nobody really that stupid enough. People are so, so immature. They, they are. And you know what? It's, that. it's sad because at the end of the day, you're only hurting the child. I have, um, my daughter has her dad and we're not together. She goes to visit and he has a significant other. I just always say, you know, have fun. Make sure you listen to everybody. Um, you know, and, you know, do what I taught you, which is to have respect, have manners, say please, say thank you. And never make anybody feel uncomfortable. I'm never telling her, you ain't got to listen to her. She ain't your mother. I would never do that to her. I would never want my daughter to disrespect who her dad is with. Right. Because if you're it's, over it's, there, it's, what if she want to now poison you? You ain't in my presence. It's just not um, a good trait to teach a kid to be rude. It's not a good trait to teach your kid to be disrespectful. So at the end of the day, when an adult is telling you to do something that's not harmful to you, you just got to get it done. You're in and the I house tell, that we live in. I tell her that, Moody. I tell her that for any adult. I said, if any adult tell you to do something and I'm not there, if you you know better because you have the you have common sense. If they're not telling you to do anything inappropriate, but they're telling you to do something, you do it. If you don't like what they said, then you come back and tell me. Tell and me. I'll handle exactly. it because I'm your protector. But you are not going to say, no, I'm not doing it because I don't have to do it. No, you do what they say. So when my partner tells Nyla something, he never have to because Nyla, we all know how she is. Mm-hmm. I know that he's telling her it for a good cause. Yo, Nyla, come downstairs. Your mom wants you or whatever. Or um, yo, don't forget to pick up your shoes or make sure you lock the door. Those things is not hurting her. So right. if I say that to someone's child, I should just be able to say that. Right. And it all right. goes and it all goes. Let back me ask Christmas. you. Let me let me ask you. So what if your child though comes to you and be like, Ma, you know, be, say, all right, say like you said, your child got his own father and you know, give it. What if your child comes to you and say, Ma, no, you know, no disrespect. I just don't want your mate to say anything to me. Um, because I don't want my parent, my father to feel no type of way. How do you handle that? How should you hmm, handle that? That's it? a really good question. Um, so here's the way I'm set up. This is just me, Chanel. Um, so I don't care how you feel. As long as you're under 18 living under our roof, then my spouse will tell you whatever my spouse needs to tell you. If he's not being disrespectful towards you, if he's not making you feel uncomfortable, if he's not doing anything at all to offend you, you're going to listen. When you don't want to listen no more, you can just leave. And it's not that I'm putting my mate before you, but it's about respect at the end of the day. Right. So even me as an adult, I still have to respect my spouse and I still have to respect my child. I don't get to disrespect my kid because she's a kid. I knock on my daughter's door before I enter. I had this argument with people at work, my other friends, like they like, you knock on the door. Yes. And it's not because I'm scared. It's because she may be getting trust. I just want to let her know that I'm coming in. I knock and I turn it off. I don't wait till she say, oh, enter. No, but I knock and then I open the door. So it's all about respect. I respect my child. My child needs to respect me. My child needs to respect adults, period. And as long as my kid is my kid, uh, we're going to be adults to her. Whether she's 30 years old, we still going to be adults to her. She needs to have respect. Absolutely. Period. And I ask you that because, you know, there's so many parents out in this world that don't know how to handle having a mate and a child from someone else and they just allow their kids to dictate their life Mm -hmm. and they Mm -hmm. forget that I am the parent you are the parent and they are the child and just like you said no matter if you 30 I am the elder your parent and and you you still gonna have to put me first like at the end of the day as long as nobody's disrespecting you or making you feel uncomfortable this should never be a a time and a place where you feel like you have to dishonor what I installed and in you, you. And you know something else, Moody? For me, my mate is proactive and like 
the the growth of Nyla. So if she would say something like that to me, I would feel so offended. Like, wow, like this person who actually watched watched you grow up and been there for milestones in your life, always made sure you had, always provided for us. He, he don't just provide for me. So I would feel so offended for him if she decided to treat him like that. Right. And, and you know, sometimes it hurts for the other person, like you said. Yeah. Right? And you got to be mindful of those things. These kids will put you in a position where it destroys what you got going and at the end of the day, when they become 18 and old, they out the door. Now where you at? So I have a question, Moody. Can a kid, I saw a post the other day. It said, ladies, them badass kids will deter a man from wanting to be in a relationship with you. And I responded, um, and these dumbass baby mothers would deter me from wanting to be in a relationship with that nigga. So I say that to say this. Do you feel like a kid can ruin a relationship? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I felt that post. Because I'm like, you know, sometimes... I, and this is and it's not and it's not the kid like it's the kid but it's it's the it's the where the kid come from because nah, imagine no. let me tell you uh, let me tell you and this is a <laughs> aunt mine's right remarried and um after you know she lost her first husband which was our uncle or whatever whatever and me and my cousins we were just bad like what her new do and we wind up years down the line loving him and respecting him but when we first when he first came <laughs> around we were like throwing stuff off the roof at him Terrible and I kids. ain't gonna tell you Terrible what it was kids. but my cousins they know what it was in that bag <laughs> <laughs> and it was just horrible but I respect him because he was a whole G because he stayed because in spite of the kids he loved her and he loved her enough to stay around and stick it through. Like it was just bad stuff going down, but he stuck it through to the end. And, and now the kids are adults. Each other to, yeah, yeah. And, and he's was, like their dad. But it's so funny to say that because I would say yes, kids do make you wanna. Yes. And get, you know, it's nothing more. It's nothing more that I would love than to have, like, you know, a, like, because everybody always feel like the step parent is like some evil troll because they watch Cinderella. But that's so fake and fictional. Like, the step parent to me is always the more lit one because they're going to let me do stuff that my actual parent don't let me do. So they're going to buy me stuff. They're going to give me money because I'm not their kid. So I always want to be like in cahoots, like, what? Nah, my mom don't do this. Yo, you mad fun. You mad lit. But if you aren't able to develop that type of relationship, it it becomes strenuous because you now working on eggshells around you know around your stepchildren and things like that. So I kind of think if they're disciplined from home when they come into the next place, you don't even gotta discipline them because they already got it together. And you know what's so funny? Some people really need that step parent too. Like for instance, like I ain't gonna say no names or whatever, but somebody, you know, had a stepfather, right? And they felt like, you know, they needed that male figure in the house. Not that that person made their life so much better, but just having that male figure around. That family structure. It, it, it does. Gave them a different a type of family structure where they didn't just have their mother. They had a male to come to, whether it was good or bad, or whether they was outside looking for them, like, bring your ass in the house, you know? Yeah. Just that, you know, feel like, oh, let me let me go. Some people needed that. And that's those 80 babies in there. I still ain't talking about them. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the, the dads that used to be like that. My mom, yeah. when I was young, was in a long-term relationship. And I'll never forget him to this day. He was in my life till I was about maybe junior high, but from when I was in elementary school, like first, second grade, he was in my life, always at the events, open school nights. He was helping my mom raise us. And having like a dad kind of made it feel like home. And then like once they like went their own separate ways, I didn't 
feel unhomely because now I'm, I was kind of older. But I just was like, hmm, I wonder what it would have been like to just have a dad in the crib. Sometimes, you know, it, mm-hmm. I don't feel like it gave me daddy issues. Don't even start people with the comments. But, <laughs> but um, I definitely know that feeling like of having that. So, you know, I'm, I'm actually happy that I'm able to provide that for my for my daughter. No, Absolutely. it's not her dad, but it's a, it's a male figure and it's a positive male role model. Right. And so yeah. I'm, I'm happy that she has that. And that makes a big difference. Make sure you surround your, you and yourself with positive role models. Yes. And because positive. you could be with a, a dude and he could be going upside your head and taking all your money and slapping your kid too. And then <laughs> and still you trying to tell your kid she got what a to do. Father. <laughs> uh, it's still trying to discipline your kid. Nah, you can't tell nothing. You can't tell my kid nothing. You bug it. Right. Cause you already slapped her. Just leave us alone. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. No, but you know what? Like you know, you never know what life bring you. You know, and you yeah. just hope and pray that having somebody to hold you down and be the, the backbone that you need for you and your family to create a a family structure is just like the best like you you will hope to have that and once you get it just keep it and hopefully your kid will respect it and acknowledge it and later down the line because you know us as kids you never understood what your parents meant but till you got older and now now, i'll be like yo now i know and i promise you booty you say that and i have i have flashbacks all the time i'm like yo Mama used to say, yeah. I'm <laughs> like, she used true. to say that. And, but and that's now I go through wisdom. It. Age, wisdom. You get to learn and experience life. Sometimes some people experience things a little bit worse. Like, you know, you we've seen those stories where parents, you know, tr- entrusted um, their child with another person and it just didn't come out the way that you expect it. But and I feel God, like maybe red flags though, Moody. I don't know. I, I like to think that you saw something in this person. You, like, come on. It had to be yeah, a red flag somewhere. It's true. It, it could be true too. But also on the flip side, like the parent that's not in the house. Like, and and expecting that the, mate, the mother or father is with somebody that's trustworthy, you know? And right. now it's like, Dang, yo, you. But I would get- watch how you. I would observe how you are with your own child. If I like, if I okay, prime example. If I know that you just came home from a tip murder to your girl from a physically assaulting her, I'm not gonna go with you and let you be in the house with my kids. No, absolutely not. So you gotta, you gotta, you know, sometimes before you jump to let somebody just come in the crib and be a step parent or be your guy or your girl. You got to kind of do your research. Like, is this person even sane? Like, people are crazy. Do you want the the insane person disciplining your child? It's true. And it's sad, though, because (laughs) back to the Black community, like, you get locked up for any and and everything. People love making false statements. And so what if the person, like, nah, that ain't true. They lied. They did that. And now you get caught up in a this triangle of you loving somebody, you want to be yeah. with them, and then eh, I don't know. It's just you can love them from outside. Then just don't let them move in. It's true, but you know niggas bum asses always want to move in. Nah, ain't no space in here. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm weak. <laughs> ain't no space in here, honey. Yeah, so I don't know, like you know. That's just like, I don't know, you gotta watch, you gotta watch the people. But um I think I think I think that disciplining kids are okay. You it's, just have to definitely need it. You definitely. just have to um manage it. You cannot, you cannot um make belittle them, disrespect them, make them feel when I tell Nyla something, I be like, yo, you know why I'm telling you this, right? And she's like. And I'm like, you know, sometimes I let her choose her punishment. 
And then sometimes I let, I let her tell me what she did, what was wrong. Because I don't want, I don't just yell at you for no reason. No, I'll let you know why I'm doing it because I don't want you to think that I'm crazy. No, I'm yelling and at you because you talk back to the teacher. Or I'm yelling at you because I told you to do something and you didn't do it. No, I'm letting you know why I'm, why I'm telling you something. So you could know and you can have it under control. Cause and sometimes you have to wait to discipline your kid too. Because sometimes shit will get you angry, you mad. And sometimes your anger could kind of blindside the discipline. And you could kill the kid. Yeah, I know. And not even that. You can <laughs> kind of give them an extreme, like you said, um, discipline where you belittle on them or you say, are you stupid? I know, you know, just being crazy. No, yeah. I, I definitely watch my mouth because I know oh, that you gotta be, hurt. You gotta and be, the kids today you gotta are mad sensitive. Oh, yeah. And my mother used to call us stupid all the time. Yo, idiot. Come here, <laughs> dumb, stupid. Like, yo, we used to like, get oh, the your, worst stuff. Get your stupid but, looking ass down. So he's like... Come yeah. here with your stank, musty ass. <laughs> you don't even know how to wash your ass right. You be sitting here like, these kids can't take yo, that at I all. can't deal with the parents, yo. Yo, back in the day was ruthless, <laughs> yo. They be like, oh, you wasn't outside talking to that girl like that when she whipped your ass. You be like, damn, ma. You out there in them boys' face, you don't even know how to wash your ass. <laughs> you, telling you, like, you be sitting there looking like, yo. Mom, What's going on? Don't care. Well, I remember I used to run life. away. My mother used to whip. I got my ass whipped for running away. I ran away like to the next building and I wrote like a note like, I hate you, mom. I want to go to Fresh Air Fun. You know I'm old. Oh, God. He whipped me out, son. I was like, dad, I thought she wasn't going to do it. She was like, oh, you hate me? <laughs> she had that extension nah. cord on my ass. Yo, yo, hate. You tell your parent you hate them back in the day. You was about to die, son. Now, yeah. but you say that to hurt their feelings, and their feelings don't even get hurt. No, because you know? your ass about to get hurt. <laughs> on fire, yo. Oh, God. Mommy, yeah. if you watching this, Ma, you used to discipline the hell out of me. I just want you to know that. But it nah, made me the woman that I am today. That's Thank a fact. Yo. And, you, and, and it don't stop. You got to discipline them all the way up until they 18. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, yo, let me tell you something. My mom's, nah, my I mom think I was like days. 17 one day in Maxwell. I was cutting school and she found out. As soon as I came in, she cracked like a broom over my back. Like she and wasn't didn't allow you to come to celebrate. <laughs> you remember? Mom, I had to come home on the train with mad balloons, cats, yes. everything, my book bag, all of that. See? Thanks a lot. My arms was hurting. Yeah, thank you, Moody. That's what, And that's why you my best friend. To the to this day. <laughs> To this to this day. Day. Yeah, right. I was like, everybody kept coming to me. Where is Nelly? Where is I don't know. I don't know. And then that was the punishment since I didn't want to go to school. Now you ain't going to school. I'm like, mom, what kind of punishment is this? This is child on your abuse. party day. On your party day. It was the worst. I had mad stuff. I was looking mad dumb on the A train. And, and it's not like back then you could take the pictures A. and post it. It wasn't even no social media. But no. I think my speak, yo, my mom. I love you, Ma. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I love Definitely. you, girl. Nah, I was so tight. I came to the house mad as hell. Yep. They was like, happy birthday, happy birthday. It's not my birthday. So why you got on yeah. balloons there, silly? Yeah, <laughs> I was weak, yo. But people, party people, we love you. The Place Your CD loves you. Let me tell you about our stats. We're doing really well. Thank you for tuning in on Friday. We appreciate you. Moody and I are going to be going live Friday at like 7 ish. Yes. So we're going to um, just go live, touching base. Um, you guys did a lot of took a lot of comments before, and we definitely did a lot of those topics. So we want to hear from you. We just want to hear how we're doing. If you feeling like you're not feeling like you're doing better, let us so know. Content. Y'all got to let us know. And Please again. let us know. Because um, what y'all think matters to us, you know, we try to connect to everybody, you know, so if there's more topics that y'all want us to talk about, you know, anything, you know, let us know, let us know, we're here for y'all. And for me, this has been another fun, filled, and comedic episode of Play TV. Yeah.